My dear cricket fans, uh, welcome to Cricket Happenings. Uh, this is your host Ram, uh, bringing you uh, the uh, match details on the match which has just finished here at Johannesburg in the Champions League 2020, the 14th match, Group B. It was the Lions versus Guyana. And well, the news is that Guyana has been pushed out of this championship. In fact, Guyana lost all the three matches. So there's no, it's, it's all over for Guyana as far as the Champions League 2020 is concerned. And Guyana with absolutely no match for the Lions today. Lions absolutely crushed Guyana. In fact, Guyana's uh, batting left a lot to be desired. Uh, there was a, a sort of a, uh, not, not a good approach at all as far as batting was concerned. It was like everyone uh, in a real hurry uh, trying to uh, get the scoreboard moving and trying to hit some very high strokes and a uh, lot of mistimed strokes going to the fielders. And then besides, uh, the running between the wickets was also uh, left a lot to be desired and that also didn't go well. And well, Guyana couldn't really, really uh, do anything much. Uh, in fact, the only uh, solitary thing being that uh, Ramnes and Sarwan scored 21 of just 16 deliveries in the smack four boundaries uh, to just get some sort of urgency into the Guyana and the Guyanese innings. And then uh, Jacobs uh, lived a bit dangerously, but still uh, also uh, played some flamboyant uh, strokes to actually score 34 of 37 balls with five fours. Other than that, Jonathan Fu has been a big disappointment, unfortunately, for Guyana this time. Uh, there was a lot of expectation. I had a lot of expectation from Jonathan Fu. He has absolutely uh, not been up to the mark at all. Uh, Jonathan Fu was bowled O'Reilly really for nine today. O'Reilly really was the man of the match, uh, the, the Idan O'Reilly. He, he bowled uh, very well. In fact, he had four overs, no made and four for 27, which actually gave him the man of the match. Um, and uh, besides that, uh, I would like to say some balling here. Uh, Alexander, Craig Alexander was uh, very good. He was very, very fiery uh, pace from Craig Alexander. He had uh, four overs, no made one for 30. He was uh, hitting the 147 mark at a consistent level, and he was balling with a lot of pace. Uh, other than that, um, I would say the, the, uh, the, the batting of uh, Guyana, uh, Dowling was the first to go, LBW ball really for seven of seven balls with one four. Uh, Chattergoon, the openers were dismissed very early on in the piece as Chattergoon was caught Cameron bowled O'Reilly really for four. And Sarvan, as I told you, was a victim of Alexander for 21. Jacob Steve Jacobs was, Alex, uh, was fancy, was victim for 34. Uh, Barnwell was run out for 11. Crandon was run out for three. Jonathan Fully bowled O'Reilly really nine. Crandon was bowled O'Reilly for 15. Uh, Daniel Christian um, uh, caught Peterson ball freeling for 11 and Lennox Kush uh, actually uh, hit one uh, mighty six over long on to score 19 not out of two four with two fours and one six of 10 balls. Bishu was not out on one, 148 for nine for the Guyana and I saw the balling figures on freeling that four was no made in one for 38. Alexander four was one for 30. As I said, thanks your four was no made in one for 15 was uh, good, uh, I thought. Cameron three was for 23 and Xander de Bruyne one over seven runs. As far as lines, were concerned well uh, they lost their uh, informed player John Van de Aar, uh, as uh, Crandon actually dismissed him caught by Christian uh, that was it 8 of 11 balls with 1 4 and after that there was absolutely uh, no reward for the Lions uh, no reward for Guyana as the ball was really toiled and well Cameron uh, our Cameron was the um, person who really really uh, lent into the Guyanese attack and thrashed them to all parts of the ground. He played some very exquisite strokes and it was his first 2020 half century, I'm told. He was not out on 78 of just 42 deliveries, five fours and six sixes in that uh, particular, in this uh, 70 in knock of 78 of 42 balls. Uh, Albert Peterson was not out on 57 of 38 balls, six fours and two sixes. As I said, uh, it was uh, gone. Crandon had four overs, no made one for 34. Lennox was three overs, one for 29. Barnwell three overs for 30. Bishu three overs, none for 30. Crandon two overs for 25. Jacobs, everyone were taken to the cleaners. And as far as uh, Cameron Snock was concerned, he was absolutely superb with his batting. And he got his first 20, 20 half century, I'm told. And uh, well, uh, it was. Um, uh, it was all over. Ethan O'Reilly of uh, Lions was declared a man of the match. So Lions definitely uh, have a chance of making the semi-final. But again, it all depends on how things go. So this match is being played at Johannesburg. It's all over. Lions have won this match handsomely by nine wickets uh, with um, almost uh, more than five overs remaining uh, uh, in the match. Almost five overs remaining in the match. Uh, that's it, uh, dear cricket fans, as far as this match is concerned. Uh, right now, I take you live to the... Uh, match uh, which is a very crucial match which is happening here 
uh, in the 15th match in Group B right now underway uh, at Durban between Mumbai Indians and Royal Challengers and Mumbai Indians are not doing well right now they have lost three wickets for 82 runs in the 12th over the current run rate being 6.73 um, uh, last five overs they've been going at 7.80 82 for 3 currently. Saurabh Tiwari is not out on 8 of 10 balls. Shikhar Dhawan is doing well. 41 of 36 of 2 fours and 2 sixes. Uh, the players out, um, uh, the other players who are, who are out today, uh, it would be uh, the oh, Sachin Tendulkar was a disappointment today. He was caught with a bowl uh, uh, by Pravin Kumar for 11. As we know, this is an all Indian match which is happening. It is between Mumbai Indians and the Royal Challengers, Bangalore. Uh, Dhawan is not at 41. Raidu was gone, caught Dravid Bowl, Vinay Kumar for 3. And Dhawan is what caught Steen Bowl, Callis for 10. So 3 for 83 uh, currently uh, in the 13th over, uh, dear cricket fans. So since I'm having some space here, I'm just uh, going to do some cricket commentary and just keep it covering uh, so that, you know, uh, I don't waste the space that YouTube has given me here. Uh, well, so right now we are uh, still uh, waiting uh, as to what's going to ha what's happening here at Johannesburg. Uh, the we are waiting for the uh, bowling. It's going to be bowled by Dale Steen. Dale Steen is coming in and bowls to uh, Shahrukh Tiwari. Shahrukh Tiwari this time gets a single, and the score moves by one. So Shahrukh Tiwari moves on to nine of eleven balls, and uh, the Mumbai Indians are 83 for three currently in the 13th over. Uh, well, that's gone. Shikhar Devan is gone as there's the fourth wicket for Mumbai Indians falls. Dale Steen has snapped up the wicket of Shikhar Devan. Shikhar Devan was the man who was doing very well. He was really holding the innings together and also playing some strokes in between. But Shikhar Devan is a victim of Dale Steen. As Shikhar Devan has gone caught drive with Bowl Steen for 41 of 37 deliveries with two fours and two sixes. Well, this was a very clever piece of bowling from Dale Steen. Actually, uh, this was a slower delivery and uh, actually uh, what uh, Shikhar Dhawan did was he tried to actually uh, you know uh, get across and uh, flick it uh, over the infield uh, but well he couldn't uh, really time it well and uh, Dravid took a very easy catch there so it's all gone Mumbai Indians 83 for 4 in real trouble I would say in 13th over and we are looking at a scenario right now uh, in, a, in a similar scenario if one remembers uh, Mumbai Indians versus Guyana uh, Kiran Polar and Saurabh Tiwari stashed 57 of four overs. Now that is something that they require now uh, to really keep going. Um, uh, he's oh yes, Kiran Polar has walked in. So this is the most dangerous pair right now at the crease, who can really, really change the complexion of the game and can really, uh, you know, if they get going, they can actually tear the ball into pieces. But you know, Saurabh Tiwari can hit those power-hitting strokes, and Kiran Polar, what to talk about Kiran Polar? He can. He can really, really uh, take the leather out of the ball uh, with his uh, big hitting. And well, we are still waiting right now. Kiran Polar is on strike. And uh, Kiran Polar, if you remember on that match, he was uh, promoted to number three. But here uh, he is coming uh, number six. So well, but overs are on hand as Steen comes in and bowls to Polar. Shot delivery and Polar ducks underneath. So there is no run. So the score 83 for four currently. Uh, in the 13th over uh, between Mumbai Indians uh, actually winning the toss and electing to bat uh, and uh, well um, uh, we are still waiting here as uh, Dale Steen is preparing himself to bowl to Kiran Polar so this is the pair which has to take it if this pair uh, can get some quick runs uh, this they have to do something about it because 83 for 4 right now uh, is, not a go is not a good score at all so they have to get this run rate going and these two persons right now in the middle are the ones to really do it. In the meanwhile, Steen comes in and bowls to Polar, and that is a wide delivery call by the umpire. So the score has moved on to 84 for 4 now. And as we wait for Kiran Polar, Kiran Polar settles down on his bat as in comes Steen and bowls to Polar, and Polar this time just plays it around, and there is no run. So 84 for 4 in the 13th over in progress right now. Dale Steen on the attack here. And uh, Dale Steen's figures 1.5 overs, no made in 1 for 5. Jack Scalise's 2 overs went for 18, but he uh, picked up a very vital wicket of his uh, uh, South African teammate, uh, uh, Jean Paul Dimini, uh, as uh, we wait for the uh, 13th over to just finish at Dale Steen, uh, still uh, waiting uh, to bowl to Kiran Polar. So, as soon as this 13th over is up, uh, dear fans, uh, I would be uh, terminating. 
uh, I mean, I would be just uh, winding up as far as uh, this edition of Cricket Happenings is concerned. I'll be back with uh, more later on this particular game. Uh, I would be a full match report on that particular game. So I am leaving you, dear cricket fans, right now. I uh, saying that Mumbai Indians 84 for 4 in the 13th over uh, and Kiran Pola and Saurabh Tiwari at the crease uh, and uh, uh, as far as the match, uh, real match was concerned, it was uh, Guyana who has been pushed out of the Champions 2020 League and Lions uh, have, uh, uh, I wouldn't say ensured, but they are, uh, there is some chance for them to actually make, make it to the semi-finals now. So it all depends on the results which is going to happen between Mumbai Indians and Royal Challengers Bangalore too. So everything hinges on a lot of uh, things uh, going on uh, at the current moment here uh, in uh, Johannesburg. That's it, dear cricket fans, uh, for Cricket Happenings. Uh, this is Ram signing off. Thank you.